Hey, what's up guys? This is Brian from Whisper Status 74 and this video is on Devil May Cry 5. Uh, bought it last night, loaded it, played a little bit of it, and actually started to do a video on it this morning. Um, I want this to be a gameplay video or a thoughts video and what's going to end up being is a PC rant video. And you guys know I keep the channel very positive and I'd like to continue that, but once in the blue... Um, I get a little bit annoyed with what happens with gaming in general. Now, what we're looking at here is another HDR issue, and different than you might guess. Um, what I mean by that is this morning, load the game up, play it, looks pretty good, check my HDR, it's not there, not enabled. So, that lends me into changing my color space and video control panel, all these different things, and then I realize, or see on Reddit and some other... PC optimization um, websites that the PC version of Devil May Cry does not have HDR. Which I find so hard to believe considering it has the same um, light bar and brightness bars that Resident Evil 7 and Resident Evil 2 Remake has. The exact same menus. Um, there isn't an HDR on or HDR off. So this morning I'm ready to make a video for you guys. I go into my options and HDR is not enabled. So why this becomes a PC rant is now I have to go in and find out what's going on with my color space, find out what's going on with Windows, did the driver turn off something in my settings that I downloaded for this specific game. And the reason I bring this up is that while I've been playing around with HDR, getting the green screen of death that I had with Forza because I changed my color space, um, you guys have been playing this game on PS4 Pro, Xbox One, and PS4. Some of you guys are already done with it. And I've been playing around with the color space of my PC. And that's really what my rant is about. So, I love PC gaming, don't get me wrong. A lot of people that do play PC still play on really high-end monitors that don't even have HDR. So, if they chime in, it's not who I'm talking to, guys. I'm talking to those of you out there that um, get what I mean about these HDR profiles not behaving properly. Now, if this game doesn't have HDR, that's fine. That's completely fine. Um, the issue isn't with the game. The issue actually is, if it doesn't have HDR, I go into my settings, and there it is. It says it has HDR. So where's the problem? Well, the problem is, guys, I don't know if I'm looking at real HDR. If I'm looking at my TV, which is pumping up the contrast, the peak brightness, extended dynamic range, all these things up. I don't like those settings up. So it leaves me back into this. Do I turn off HDR? Back into this whole Red Dead situation of what the hell am I looking at? Is the picture as good as it possibly can be? Now... Let's be realistic, guys. This channel is about graphics, technology, resolution, HDR. So when people tell me, like they did with Red Dead, hey, just deal with it. Just deal with it. The graphics card is $1,000. The TVs, they're thousands of dollars. I'm not going to just deal with it. I want this to look for the way I, I paid for it. I don't want to be taking my PC apart. So what I did is I went into the color space, changed it, then I had the green screen. What the green screen means is basically every game that is HDR was working fine. Then games that were no longer that weren't HDR were having a green screen. I'd show it to you, but I'm not gonna get all messed up on it. So I ran my HDR titles and they all work fine. My standard definition titles work fine. I pop this game in and it's telling me I have HDR. Now People on Reddit and other places are telling me, oh, it's great, just enjoy the HDR. But the, my point is, guys, do I even know? I don't have a freaking Klein spectrometer machine attached to it. I'm not Vincent from, you know, what's it called? His website where I'm hooking up computers to it to check for fake HDR. My point is, as much as I love PC gaming, there is something to be said about hitting power. And HDR is there and the game is there. Yes, this game is cleaner than it is on the consoles. It's really not close. It's native 4K. It runs very, very well. But I'll tell you, Forza, that game was night and day with HDR. 
Night and day. I mean, it wasn't even close how it looked with HDR in comparison to HDR off. So, while we're looking at this footage, which is the first, first level, by the way, am I even seeing HDR? And am I going to spend another three hours changing color space, turning my PC on, turning my PC off? It's just the frustration that they cannot figure this out. It's just... And, and, if, and let's just say, hypothetically, that Devil May Cry doesn't have HDR. Why in the hell not? Why not? Why have it be like Gears of War 4, where my Xbox One X version has all these specular highlights and, and beautiful graphics, but my PC version, yeah, it's clean, but it's it looks flat. HDR is about color and depth and vibrancy. That's what this game has. So, yeah, I'm neurotic, just like a lot of you guys are, but I can't sit here and play this game and not know what the hell I'm looking at. So do I have to go back in and turn... HDR completely off in Windows for this one game. So I hope you understand my rant. Again, I don't mean to be negative, but this is ridiculous when it comes to PC. So I download this game. I usually don't buy games upon launch. I did that. I do that for the channel. I download this game. I preload it. I do everything I'm supposed to do. There's no HDR. There is HDR. I mean, I don't know. The thing is, for those of us that love AV, we love surround sound, we love TVs, we're used to tinkering. I get that. It's like having a muscle car. You're going to work on it. But just once in a blue, I'd love to be able to just turn the thing on, play it, and just have it work. And I'm going to get all the comments about, you don't know anything about PC gaming. No, I don't, I, I don't know everything there is to know about it. I know how to freaking build one. I know enough about it. I don't know everything about it. But the point is... The dude with the Xbox and the guy with the PS4, they've been playing this game for five or six hours. I've powered it on. I've powered it off. I've changed my, my chroma, RGB full, limited, 10-bit, 8-bit, restart, restart, update, restart, drivers, take them out, put them back in, all this stuff. This is 10 minutes into the game, guys. Now, I'm sure it looks fine, but I don't pay for fine. If I paid for fine then now of course digital foundry who's always got my back doesn't have a pc video on this yet there's only a few of them on that'll talk about pc now you'll see people do videos that will say 4k hdr but from what i understand there isn't an hdr profile on this title um there isn't an hdr enable on off now i hope i'm wrong and if i am i'll make a video on it but it goes back down to and geez there's so many cutscenes in this freaking game um, it goes back down to just being present. We always talk about that with all the defects in TVs is being present, being able to sit here and say, okay, I'm not focusing on the bad things, but it's such a visual thing that we, the game's visual, our graphics, that's why we pay, that's why you're paying for ray tracing. That's why you're paying thousands of dollars for graphics cards and a thousand dollars for your CPU, your GPU, your RAM, uh, these big TVs. I don't, we don't buy a full array display because I want the image to look washed out. Um, so it's just that thought. It's that doubt. Should I have this off? HDR, should I turn it off in the windows? That means I have to enable it for every other game? Are you getting the best image you can possibly get? That's what PC gaming is all about, guys. At least for me. I mean, PC gaming for other people is all about playing at a, you know, a thousand frames per second and everything else i don't not interested in that at all I'm, I'm interested in the best uh graphic fidelity as i can get that's what i want so is this game look good yeah it looks great is it hdr i don't think so i can't tell you but if it's not then what i would want to do is go back into my settings and lower my gamma get rid of extended dynamic range do all those things but like red dead am i ruining the image doing that that's the whole reason for the rant there is no information out there from the developer there's no information at all um and why some of you guys don't want to get into pc this is some of the reasons that make it a difficult sell i love it i'm a pc gamer i'm a master race person that's part of this pc master race i'm glad to be part of it this is just a rant about how frustrating it possibly can be all right guys thanks